the Smart Freeze console gives you the ability to see a lot of things. And um, the fact that it displays on the screen um, um, and you can track a lot of data. Uh, you can include a soft gel temperature, you can include time to isolation, you can graph the, the temperature. Um, you, each, each application is uh, stored, even if it's one where you decided to stop the application early uh, for any reason, and that can be annotated. And each of the veins uh, that you're freezing is annotated. And that can then be formatted into a PDF uh, report that can be incorporated into your uh, final report. I think one of the things that sets the Polar X cryoablation system apart is the Smart Freeze console. Um, I think it's a very intuitive uh, console, um, especially when I slaved it into my main screen. Um, I had everything I needed to know about my lesion uh, about my balloon, about the collateral structures right in front of my eyes. I didn't have to look around to look for everything. So um, starting with uh, just being able to mark the time to isolation um, on my screen and being able to see it on the graph to see where what my needed temperature was, the ablation time, um, I think was very beneficial. Um, you, you, I could kind of look back and see the number of lesions I had done, especially uh, for somebody that does. Sometimes I did some segmental lesions to kind of keep an eye on how many lesions I did on each vein uh, to kind of keep a tab on that. So it was readily available. Um, and then uh, the other things that I think that stood out to me was, you know, you had this one section where you could uh, kind of put your, uh, you know, time to time to zero or, or time, your thought times, your native temperature, your time to minus, uh, time to 30 seconds, all of those things could be marked on your um, console. Um, and then when you were, um, when you did have the, uh, the esophageal temperature probe in position, uh, you had the, uh, you had that um, um, on the screen as well. And you could see the uh, esophageal temperature sensor uh, right on the smart console. So you didn't have to kind of look around for the anesthesia console to find that number. It was right there. And you could set the uh, parameters to alarm um, if if there was a certain amount of drop. Um, so, you, you know, you could you could be busy with the ablation and, and not have to worry about it because the system would alarm and you or flash where you could actually, you will notice it if the temperature did drop. Um, and then uh, the other feature was the, the diaphragm movement uh, monitoring. Um, which you could see the the the, the sensor to me was um, is it was a very um, sensitive sensor uh, in a sense that you you could set set it up to say um, you know I wanted to alarm when um, I had a twenty percent drop and it would it would flash and you could see the sensor right on the console as well uh, which was I think very valuable so I didn't really have to set up. Um, a C map or anything on my mapping system. It was readily available on my console. You could just literally focus on that one screen and get every information you needed. And to me, that's uh, pretty intuitive and uh, pretty easy to uh, to get used to. It did take uh, probably a case or two for me to kind of figure out where everything is, but uh, it was uh, worth the learning curve.